first thing you're going to do is take your painter's tape and cover every other part of the shoe that you don't want to get glitter on. So I would take my time with this part and make sure you're covering every piece of the shoe that you don't want any glitter to get on. At the end of the day, it's not going to be a big deal if some glitter, glitter gets on different parts of the shoe as long as the Mod Podge isn't on that part of the shoe because you can dust the glitter off. But if the Mod Podge is on the shoe, then the glitter will stick to it and it's not going to come off after there. So just be really meticulous with this part and make sure you're covering every part of the shoe you don't want glitter on. Then you're going to take some tissue or a bag something to stuff in the front of the shoe so you don't get glitter inside of the shoe. The next step is to paint your Mod Podge on in sections. So I'm starting with the top and I'm just going to paint that section on and then I'm going to add the glitter before I move on to the next section. about the Mod Podge is when you're painting it on you can go over other parts that have glitter on them already um, it won't make a difference and then just add more glitter to it so if you have like a space a gap that you forgot to put Mod Podge on or you just happened to skip it and didn't realize you can always go back add a little dab of Mod Podge make sure it's a thin coat and then just add some glitter on and with the glitter you just pour a generous amount and whatever sticks to the Mod Podge sticks and the rest will go into the box so make sure you have a box or something to catch the glitter as you pour it. I let the shoe sit for about 3 or 4 hours before I am going on to this next step. So make sure you allow the glitter to dry onto the Mod Podge. Um, it says you need about two hours. I always like to give it a little bit more, even if you could wait till the next day. As much time as possible before you go on to the next step. But if you give it two to three hours before you go on to the next step, that's all you really need. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and glue on the applique. I tried using E6000 for this, but with the applique and the glitter, it just wasn't sticking properly. It was just, it kept unsticking, so I felt like I needed something to clamp it on. But with the glue gun, it just stuck immediately, so I recommend using hot glue gun for this step if you're going to be using an applique. <music> And then I'm going to use the E6000 to glue on my rhinestones. These are rhinestone stickers that I found at Michael's. They look the same and they do the trick. They do have, they are stickers so they are sticky on the back already but I just wanted to make sure and solidify that they would stay on by using the E6000 glue. <music> When you're done they look like this they look gorgeous and sparkly and shiny and just so fun I love how they came out I really love the glitter and how it just makes a shoe pop I'm kind of obsessed with these ones guys if you like how these ones came out too give them a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and if you try it I want to see it I'll see you guys next time Oh, 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 oh,